Welcome to Frequency Matters, the RF and Microwave video update series brought to you by Microwave Journal. I'm your host Pat Hindle, and today we've got an exciting episode for you. We're diving into the latest advancements in millimeter wave technology. We have a great lineup of experts and topics to cover, so let's get started. In this first segment, we'll discuss the millimeter wave revolution that's been transforming the way we communicate and connect. Our expert, Eric Hyam, is here to shed some light on how millimeter wave technology is changing the game. Thank you, Pat. Millimeter wave frequencies are playing a crucial role in enabling high-speed, low-latency data connections for 5G, automotive radar, and more. They offer increased bandwidth and data rates, making it possible for applications we couldn't have dreamed of a decade ago. Welcome to the first ever AI holiday episode of Frequency Matters, the RF Microwave Update series. I'm Pat Hindle. I'm here with my co-host, Eric Keim, who unfortunately is remote due to COVID precautions, and also here with Jin Baines, CEO of MiniCircuits. Welcome, Jin. Hey, thank you, Pat. Nice to be here with you. So you just saw a 100% created AI video that we did, and we had to use four AI platforms to accomplish this, so it was very fun to do. We went over to Fodor and we created images of Eric and I as elves, and we created a background image also from Fodor. And then we went to ChatGPT and we generated a script. We took that script over to Eleven Labs and we trained it on our voice and made the audio from that script. And finally, we took the audio and the image over to DID and we created this animation. So it's very fun learning about all the AI tools. I didn't have a lot of experience in it, but I did find it very easy to do. And most of it was actually free on a trial basis. So definitely AI is affecting our industry now and in the future. So we'll have much more to come on that. So there's a few more AI tidbits that we have later on in the episode, but getting to our general coverage, the December government military electronics issue is out now. And as a reminder, the cover feature is about comparing SDR radios from various platforms. So Provisus writes an article and they compare theirs to NI, which you're very familiar with, right. and also Herrick Labs. So it's a good one to check out for military applications for SDR. And then we didn't cover the products yet. So uh, Eric, what do we have for tech briefs? Thanks, Pat. And uh, I wish I were able to join you and Jin in the uh, studio, but unfortunately, COVID had other plans for me this holiday season. Uh, but in the issue, we have four good tech briefs with a definite slant towards high frequencies. Uh, particular note, we have SpaceX Labs introducing an amplifier that operates to 50 gigahertz and targets 5G FR2 applications. And we also have Aravant discussing some of the finer points of OTA measurements at D-band. Uh, so they're all worth a read. And then finishing out our product coverage of the December issue, we had RF over fiber solutions for EW applications from PPM Solutions in the UK. And so, Jin and you and I had a great discussion and interview earlier today. Maybe you can give the audience a little bit of a review of that. Yeah, uh, sure, Pat. Uh, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed uh, spending the time with you just talking through the, uh, the interview there. Uh, my first interview as a CEO of, uh, of Mini Circuits. And, uh, you know, we talked about over the years, I really got to learn a lot about mini circuits and I got to know the, the family that owns the company, Harvey's uh, family and the leadership team there. And that ultimately culminated in me becoming CEO of the company. So we, you know, we talked about that. We talked about some of the products, some of the technologies, where my focus is. And really, you know, I talked about the fact that my focus is very much to maintain what we've got. It's a fantastic company, 55 years in the making, build on top of a set of core values and guiding principles that we've established. Uh, it, was, it was nice to talk to you about that. And that's our number one focus, build on top of that and then build a strategy around that, which uh, we're articulating, we're defining it a little bit better. And then uh, internally defining an organization to work with that uh, more effectively, but then drive some of the products and keep our focus on the customers and the quality. Uh, those are just so important for us as a company. And so we've got a whole slew of great new products that we've been putting out. So you'll see us kind of just building on top of that and creating more and more innovative products uh, into the future. So exciting times ahead. Really enjoyed uh, doing the uh, interview with you, Pat. Yeah, it was a great discussion and the full interview is available online with this episode. And so now getting back to AI, we went to Fodor and we had it generate some RF and microwave products that we could exchange as gifts. So Jen, I have this gift for you. Wonderful, thank you very much. And this is what I think is a advanced power amplifier design that you'll be able to use to enable your new designs for next year. So really looking forward to what Mini Circuits has to offer in 2024. Love it, love it. And uh, uh, Eric, I know you're not here with us, but I'm giving you an AI generated gift, which I think is, an, is a microwave heating device. 
This will keep your office warm through the entire winter. So here you go, Eric. Thanks, Jen. That's great. And it looks like you got me the deluxe version so I can uh, cook steaks for our office cookout in my office uh, at some point. So thanks a lot. Pat, I didn't forget you, so I'm giving you this AI-generated gift, which I think is a new microwave propulsion engine that'll make your car even faster. So uh, just plug it into the lighter outlet and off you go. Thank you, Eric. And one last AI tidbit for you. We have a limerick that was created by ChatGPT. It's a holiday limerick for Eric and I. Jen, if you'd do the uh, honors. Sure. Pat and Eric, the RF crew, in signals and circuits, they knew what to do. Amidst winter's chill, their skills gave a thrill. A holiday spark in the RF view. Well, excellent. Thanks, Jin, for that. And uh, it's amazing the things you can do these days. And uh, that wraps up this episode. Our sponsor is Mini Circuits. Uh, Mini Circuits is a global leader in the design, manufacture, and distribution of RF and microwave components and integrated assemblies with more than 10,000 active models. And I'd like to thank everyone and uh, wish you all happy holidays.